Hi, my name is Danny and I'm with a and Jewelry Supply. Today I want to go over some of the best practices when using a diamond and moissanite tester. I'm going to be using a Gemoro Ultra Tester 3 Plus for this video, which is a diamond and moissanite tester. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your stones are clean. So if you have loose stones, just make sure that the table is clean. You can rub them against a soft polishing cloth, nothing with any chemicals that might influence the test. So just rub, because you're going to be testing the table, we want to make sure that the, the top of the stone is clean. So I'm just going to clean these stones here. And I'm going to be placing them into this testing tray, which is included with this tester. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're touching the metal contacts on both sides of the test. And what I mean by that is that on, on the actual unit you're going to be wanting to touch these metal plates. These metal plates are found on any diamond tester. So it has a metal plate with a fingerprint and that's where I'm going to be touching. So I'm going to grab that with one hand. On the other hand I'm going to be touching the metal of whatever is holding the stone. In this case it's the stone tray. So I'm going to be touching the stone tray while I'm testing. And I will do a small demonstration that will show how important it is. So in this case, I'm going to be holding the tester without touching the metal plate on the tester and I won't touch the metal plate on the tray. So I'm just going to touch the tester and it's lighting up green which indicates that it's testing as a diamond, which of course this stone tray is not a diamond. Now I'm going to be touching the metal plate on the tester but not the stone tray. Again, green, which indicates that it's testing as a diamond. And now I'm going to be using the proper testing procedure by touching the tray and touching the two metal plates on the tester. Immediately you get a red indication, which is that it's a metal alert. So that's what you're supposed to be getting. So this is a good way to show how, uh, how important it is to touch the metal on the tester and on the object that you're testing. So if this was a ring, I would be touching you know, the actual gold of the ring and then I would be testing the stone. The last thing that you want to do is that you want to uh, clean the tip every once in a while. And what you do is you just grab a clean sheet of paper and nothing with any writing on it and just rub the tip almost like you're writing on the piece of paper with the tip and that's actually going to remove some of the oxidation that might build up on the tester over time. And those are your best practices for testing with any type of diamond and moissanite tester.